Death Reigns Eternal Welcome to the Hero Spotlight for Omen. With his ability to trap heroes and force them to fight him, Omen is the nightmare of squishy heroes who need to move around to be effective. If you encounter him alone, better run! Passive Thirst Every time Omen hits an enemy with a normal attack, he gains one point of thirst. Upon reaching five points of thirst, Omen increases his movement speed and attack speed for five seconds. His strengthened normal attack will also deal true damage and reduce the cooldown for Death's Beckon and Untouchable by one second. Omen's third normal attack triggers an additional attack that deals 50% damage. The counter is reset after reaching five points of thirst and after coming out of thirst. Omen can build up stacks of thirst on jungle creeps or minions, only getting the fifth stack to trigger thirst to gank an enemy or use in a team fight. Ability 1 – Death's Beckon Omen uses his blade to pull all enemies caught closer to him, dealing physical damage and slowing their movement speed. Since Death's Beckon is mainly used to interrupt and catch heroes, not as a main damage-dealing tool, so do not focus on leveling this first. Ability 2 – Untouchable Omen enters a stage of heightened awareness and gains damage reduction and movement speed for two seconds. In this state, Omen can reflect normal attacks, dealing physical damage to the attacker and descending their movement speed. Damage dealt from the reflect also adds any bonus normal attack effects from Omen's equipped items or buffs. Each attacker can only have their attacks reflected once. Untouchable is Omen's core ability. Make sure you level this up. During the laning phase, Omen can use this to both reduce overall damage on him while increasing his own damage output through damage reflection, thus giving him higher survivability. Ultimate Death's Embrace Omen rushes forward and deals physical damage to the first enemy hero he runs into. He then summons a plasma sword that curses the target for 5 seconds. While cursed, the target deals less damage with attacks and cannot leave the sword's area. As Omen's strongest control ability, enemies can't use abilities or talents to escape. However, due to its short range, it's easy to avoid. Use this while in the brush to catch a jungler or random assassin off guard. Death's Embrace can also be used to escape the embrace of death. If you're about to die, use it on an enemy and simply leave. You can leave, but the enemy is stuck. Here are a few tips you need to know when using Omen. 1. Pay attention, noobs. Though Omen's ultimate has him charge forward a good distance, it doesn't get him over obstacles. 2. How to get that glass cannon from afar? No worries, Omen's ultimate plus flicker can catch them off guard. 3. Before reaching level 4, Omen needs to be safe near the tower and soak up minion EXP and gold. Upon reaching level 4, however, his ultimate will allow him to catch enemies to help with team ganks. 4. His ultimate is control, so once you get the enemy with it, use ability 2 and normal attacks to get in more damage. When the effect fades, use ability 1 to catch the enemy for more damage. Combo as follows, ultimate into ability 2, then ability 1. 5. Omen doesn't have any particularly strong abilities for teamfights, but it doesn't matter. Open with his ultimate and catch their squishiest target. If you don't get the hit off, then try to cut off any escape points. Thanks for watching the Hero Spotlight for Omen the Insatiable. See you next time!